guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 5 of Fruits Basket, the final season. So, Scott, I get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I forgot to say this. <laughs> Somebody don't say Alexa. Hmm? No. Me to Carino <laughs> and hot tar. <laughs> Oh my god, like seriously, look how blue my nails are, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, Kimmy. You guys, oh my god. middle finger right now <laughs> I'm not ready for this oh god oh, oh my god just seeing them like tell someone who that they really care about <laughs> I'm not ready for this though this is gonna be too much this is probably going to hurt me today. Not as much as last week's, because we all know last week, oh my god, like, that hurt. That hurt oh so much, like. Uh -huh. God, it's probably going to get worse today. Maybe, maybe not. I could be lying, but, mm. I just want Karina to see on it. I get it. So I fucking want. Please. <laughs> I need to hear my baby boy courier slash goblin slayer talk to his girl again. Please. Like, oh my god. That'll just make me so happy and cry and make me want to die. Oh, of course. That's up to her. <laughs> well, if he's a cold bastard, you're a cold stone bitch. Yeah, but you still love him. Momiji? Oh my!
Oh my y'all but oh my god. Am I about to start sipping for my Meiji? Oh my god! <laughs> Okay, but the question is, is he still played by the same voice actor or like, no? <laughs> my husband, no. I just froze. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Precious babies. I can't today. <laughs> Thank you, Alexa. Of course.
Of course. <sighs> you didn't think about that, did you? <laughs> exactly. Her dad, right? <laughs> Stop, Cody.
Well, damn. Somewhat a keto, but Hmm, baby. So that's why she went to him. So then something tells me that maybe what kill is going to be the last one whose curse breaks. And he's okay with that. I'm not gonna cry over my precious baby. He too damn precious, like ah. This hurts.
Oh, God. Oh my god. That makes two now. Who the heck is gonna break away from her next? Like, I don't know. Oh god, this hurts. But, like, I'm happy. Like, they get to move on from her. And it's just. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's so precious. I love him so much. Like, oh my god, yep. Yeah. Momiji, welcome to the arm, baby. I love you so much. Like, Jesus. This boy. <laughs> that's not a boy anymore. That's a man. Oh, my God. He started out as the most precious baby boy. And now he's a man. Like, <laughs> oh, God. This hurts. I can't. This is too much. Oh, my God. Nope. It, it, it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse. It is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get worse. I just. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. I fucking know it because now officially two have left. Both freaking Hatsaharu and now Momiji. <sighs> If I can, because, like, I don't remember who leaves next. If I can give a guess. See, no, my money is on y Yuki's going to be the last one. Because she cares about Yuki the most. We all know that. And she's going to be the most, de like, she was devastated about Momiji. But she's going to be even more devastated when it's Yuki's turn. So if I have to give a guess about who might leave or move on from her and just snip by snip by snip. Maybe um Hatsuri or Ayame, only two that I can really think of. Sh um, Shigure is like mm, I don't know what number what I would put him on but like he Oh my god. <laughs> I can't! This is too much. But like, okay, also, speaking of Shigure. Right? <sighs> Why did you do that? <laughs> Why? Out of all the things. You, you know his fucking seiyu. Like, it can't with his seiyu, right? So you would literally have a scene. A moment where he whispers something in Toru's ear. Come on now, man. This is Gojo Sensei! This ain't Sagura anymore! Oh my god! Like, see, I can't. I can't. I can't with him as Shigure. I can't with him as Gojo. I can't with him as any other freaking character who he's playing. Freaking Tatsuya from freaking Irregular Imagine High School. Gray from, from Fairy Tale. I can't. No, this is too much. Like, uh, he just, like, whispered, like, got close. Like, oh my god. Like, up in that ear. And you're just like, can I be Toru now, please? Like, thank you. Like, mm, Mozaru. Like, oh my god. I can't. I can't. This is what happens. I end up falling in love with the Seiyu, and then I end up watching almost like everything that they're in, and anytime they speak, I'm just like, mm -hmm, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> like, I can't. This is too much. Like, okay. When, when it is Kyo's turn, because every single time when I look at the opening, there's a moment, and especially when I saw the opening in episode two, there's a point where, like, the bracelet breaks. So I don't think we're there yet, because this is only episode five. So maybe episode 15, 
I'm not 100% sure. I mean, because, like, yes, even having the moment where, like, Momiji comes up to to uh, Toru, wrong person, Kyo, and talks about, like, oh, he might steal her from him. Or even talking about if another guy stole Toru from you. Like, how are you going to feel about that? What are you going to do and such? And it's like, yeah, you need to get up on that. I mean, the same thing even with Yuki. You have so many characters wanting to tell the person who that they care about the most in their lives about the secret of them and they're not able to because either someone has you know conflict came in third wheel fourth wheel whatever whole group wheel or just something and they're not able to like we know yuki is gonna able like there's gonna be a day where yuki's gonna have to tell machi and i think once he tells him i mean her um she's gonna accept it no matter what and that's when they're truly going to both say i love you to each other and they're gonna be together forever and i'm just gonna be like <laughs> cry cry but when it is kyo and toru's turn because something tells me like kyo and toru they are going to be the last ones to say i love you to each other um it's gonna hurt no matter what no matter what the heck happens next it's going to hurt and it's gonna hurt a lot and i'm not ready for like cute moments of i love you or like hugs and everything when they could truly really hug and not transform into an animal and it's just it's gonna be so good Oh, God, once again, this show, <laughs> this show, I love it so much. Oh, God, I can't with it sometimes, but, like, I, I love it so freaking much, but that's how much, like, I I'm so fucking dedicated to this series and how much, like, this show truly means to me so many years later after, like, the, the first anime and the damn series and such. But, yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of the final season of Ruth's Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 6. Bye, guys.